totally managed to save it. Anyway, after another amazing broadcast, there's still no really no issues. Oh, I spoke a little too soon. Um, let's see, I mentioned the car chase. His friends leave except Evan when he when they find out that he can't air some story about about uh, airplane parts falling off of Koala Airlines because the station head would lose stock if he did that. Now, in this scene, Jack Lane, that guy, I, uh, the guy who had to, he had to change his name because that was the bet earlier that I mentioned. Uh, you know, if uh, Ron Burgundy didn't get higher ratings than Jack Lane, Jack Lime, uh, then he would leave New York. But if he did, then Jack Lane would have to change his name to Jack Lane. But anyway, Jack Lane accidentally causes him to fall when he's doing some ice skating performance. And thanks to this, he loses his sight. His friends return to comfort him, but he again turns them away. Cue Veronica to come in. This was a major twist that I did not see coming. I honestly didn't expect Veronica to, well, get back together with him. I would have imagined a movie like this would have broke him up and kept him all up, I would have thought that he was going to get together with Lin Linda. But no. So anyway, she, Veronica and Walter come back, come back and they actually help him take care of him. She splits up with uh, the other guy and gets back with Ron. Dobie's scene is hilarious. Dobie being a shark that they take care of and uh, set free. But then Ron does a procedure to see again. And it works. Linda comes to see him. Or rather, he goes to see Linda, I should have said. Um, and Veronica comes, comes to see him in Linda's office and basically tells Linda to keep away. So she, apparently Veronica, is back in love with Ron. And while I will say there is no formal, like, re, re, remarri remarriage, um, I don't think there necessarily needs to be in, an, in this case. Now, the final part of the movie is him finding out, you know, He's got to take better care of his family. And this is where the movie actually, for the first time, gets serious. It's the last half hour. So this is spoiler section two. Major spoilers. So if you don't want major spoilers, if you don't want to know how a movie like this ends in today's world, then stop the review. Walter has a recital. So finally, for the first time ever, he goes on live with just himself, no friends. His friends are actually standing uh, right next to him, but they're not doing the news with him. And he says that he's realized that what, what a mistake he's made. So now he actually skips the news. It will be interesting to see how this is going to play out. Before he skips the news, he does end up... Uh, Doing, doing, not doing the story, but saying that Coco Koala Airlines sucks. <laughs> An important note, seeing as the thing that broke up the group was them not being able to do to, to that story. Something that I should have mentioned earlier. Um, but anyway, he's going to his son's recital, and it's Jack Lane and his crew. It's going to be a four-on-four. Four. No. It's going to be a total battle like an Anchorman 1. They've got known actors like Jim Carrey, um, a whole bunch of other people. They've got many parodies of news channels like BBC America, just a parody. They've got M MTV News there. And actually, so, those, are so, those actually aren't even parodies. They're real. But anyway, uh, uh, Carrie, great acting there. 
You've got these funny things like they're gonna if someone dressed up in a minotaur suit. They've got someone they're making someone look like a ghost, like an actual ghost. History Channel news. So many different things. Such a funny battle. Um, very short though, because Gary Gary saves his life. Gary being the uh, the other guy that Veronica was with, so he can go. Uh, it saves his life with like the powers apparently that he has because he is a psychologist. I knew you had powers, Ron says. Channel Nine with West Montana. I really don't think that's right, but with West, um, played by Vince Vaughn, Vaughn helps helps him win so he can get to the recital on time. It's funny because they all come to like some agreement, and then Evan, the guy played by Steve Carell, just blows the whole thing up. And I'm sorry if I've been saying the character's name wrong, Evan. Um, it's just that was his name when Steve Carell in uh, Evan Almighty and Bruce Almighty when he was in the anchor there. Anyway, it ends with him. So he gets to the recital on time, and it ends with Ron and Dobie. It actually ends at Evan's uh, marriage to that girl that he's fallen in love with over the past like year in the movie. And Baxter the dog saves Ron's life when he actually gets in a fight with, with Dobie, because Dobie has grown to be a full-grown shark. And his final bark's translated to, I banish the Dobie, and a good question that should be asked by all of us to any one of the characters in this movie, I seriously question why I stay in this relationship. That's what all the questions in this movie should be, all the characters in this movie should be asking. But the fact is that it does bring a lot of joy and laughs and... It's satisfactory in the end, so maybe that's their answer.